Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we've got the Honor 20. Now as you've potentially seen, I've been on the launch event of the actual Honor 20 and 20 Pro and I've managed to source a Honor 20 as soon as possible to do a full proper review of. So let's start with the unboxing. Now this is a review unit, so as you can see it doesn't even have a UK plug, but you do get the Huawei Supercharger, which is amazing considering the price of the phone on the UK market, which is £399. So yeah, £399 and you get a Huawei Supercharge, which gives you around 60% of charge in half an hour. So that's not bad, eh? Um, especially considering the price of the phone. In terms of this phone itself, we are running on the Android 9.1, so the latest actually possible, with the Android security patch of the 1st of April 2019, April's Fools. So, pretty convenient, again, considering the price, that's really nice. Um, what's more, we've got the different layouts for the system navigation, so we've got a navigation dock, we've got the free key navigation, the classic Android experience since 2011, I believe, that's when they've scrapped the fourth button, and the pixel-esque experience of gestures, gestures. Then what we've got next is the smart assistance as usual. So we've got the high touch, which is like a visual shopping. So you point your phone at something and it tells you what it is. If you didn't know that shoes are shoes and where you can buy them, if it recognizes the brand. Next one up is the smart cover and the 100 mode, which it's a bit more precise input so yes if you slide from across the screen or if you've got a navigation bar with the free button menu you can reach the screen more easily which is pretty convenient considering the phone sports 6.26 inch display wow and the next one up oh, yep oh that was an accident we've got the shortcuts and gestures so you for example if you want to take a screenshot you can um, knock on the screen with your knuckle and voila we've got a screenshot you can even set it up for um, video recording as well so you can record what you're doing on the screen itself pretty convenient I have to admit then we've got the split screen, so obviously if you'd like to, you can use the multitasking split screen mode and the wake screen, so when you lift the phone up, it lights up the screen, the LCD, IPS LCD panel on the phone itself. Now, what we've got in here as well, let's move on. We've got the security and privacy, so fingerprint ID plus the face recognition. Storage, 128 gigs. Oh, actually, going back to security and privacy, there is also an app lock which allows us to lock apps before, behind passwords. Private space, which is like um, a second space where you can keep your files. And safe, again, quite similar. So you lock um, apps and actually, not apps, uh, pictures, for example, and documents behind um, a passcode or a face uh, facial recognition. In terms of the display itself, like I did mention, it is an IPS LCD display um, which allows us to tailor the color mode and temperature to our liking, but to be honest, even in normal mode, it looks really nice. Um, the display is of Full HD Plus resolution, so slightly higher than 1080p, but it's not a 2K or 4K display. Um, in terms of the device connectivity, obviously the NFC is on board, easy projection which goes into like a desktop mode if you connect it to, um, let's say, a TV and so on and so on. Right, what else we've got on the phone itself? In terms of tools, we've got the mirror if you want to see how you look like, vo voice recorder, pre-installed calculator and FM radio. Weirdly enough, there is no party mode anymore. Sounds like... Huawei and Honor either don't install it on the latest flagships anymore or they just scrapped the idea completely. Now, the camera system. Now, the camera system is what differenti differentiates <laughs> the, P, uh, the, P, 
the Honor 20 Pro from the Honor 20 which I'm reviewing here. So you've got a 48 megapixel main unit with an f-stop of 1.8. You've got the 16 megapixel unit which is an ultra wide lens with an f-stop of 2.2 and then we've got another dedicated my macro camera which is f-stop 2.4 2 megapixels and another 2 megapixel camera with an f-stop of 2.4 which is the depth sensor so when you take a picture in an aperture mode which allows you to blur the background or the portrait mode which allows you to blur the background when you take a picture of a person this is the lens that is used so you've got a quad camera system on the back and then you've got the front-facing 32 megapixel camera with an f-stop of 2.0 at the front. So as usual, you'll see some picture samples at the very end of the video. In terms of the actual features of the phone, obviously you do get the AI photography um, as well. So it tries to recognize what you are taking a picture of and tries to enhance the photo quality to what you are taking picture of and it actually works pretty well it even recognizes stuff like car and so on but in terms of resolution there is also ai ultra clarity mode wow that's a mouthful um which actually works really well but it does take a while to take a picture so when i do take a picture which i'll show you now it reminds me of Lumia 1020, yeah, so as you can see it takes around 4 seconds to take a picture. So it's quite similar to a night shot mode, but it's not about night shot pictures, it's about the clarity. So as you can see I'm going to zoom in on that picture now and everything looks pretty decent. Um, in a second I'm going to take a picture in a normal mode and we will compare that to, um, to, 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 to the quality of the ultra clarity mode okay yeah so let's have a look let's take a picture in the normal mode and see what happens yeah so you can you can clearly see a difference um in in that font on the pringles box looks like yeah Right, so then we've got assistive grids and unusual Honor Huawei features. We've got a portrait mode which works with people. We've got a night shot mode. Um, and the portrait mode actually allows us to adjust the background blur effect as well. Night shot mode and then we've got the AR lens as well. Now, the night shot mode obviously can be used in daytime as well, but as you can see doesn't make that much of a difference really in terms of normal picture quality so it depends on your subject you can use AI clarity mode you can use normal mode you can use AI assisted mode and to be honest it did starts to become a bit over complicated but the option is there for you so yeah let's have a listen to some audio quality of that one bottom firing speaker So yeah, thanks for watching another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Hope you've enjoyed that and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Bye!